I wanted to show exactly the two poles of um, metaphysical themes which are done the best in one way by Chopin and another way by Rokofi. Chopin, <clears throat> it is all about love, pride, dignity, intelligence. And <clears throat> the great patriotism towards the entire human. The nocturnes which I chose, it's uh, in the first part. It's like going with Chopin through all his life. Uh, and this is very important. Uh, to feel this amount of tenderness and good from this unbelievable heart which God sent to our earth. Uh, that's one point of the program which I would call absolute plus positive. Prokofiev, Sonata number no. 8. It's his testament. In this sonata, Prokofiev, first of all, technically, this sonata written probably the best of all the old repertoire. It is the piece where his mastership went beyond imagination. Secondly, it shows the all negative sides, sides of the 20th century. It's a portrait of the world of totalitarianism. Fascist, Stalinist, whatever, and also a big deal of um, uh, the war theme, Second World War, is there, <clears throat> written with such mastership that you almost physically feeling the presence of evil. So that's two pole, two metaphysical poles of our existence in the extreme. Good, love, tenderness, pride, intelligence, whatever we have good. And the all ugliness which could happen if we are not having enough courage to stand against evil. That was my choice. Two extremes, plus and minus. And you will be in the middle. It's difficult. I will be trying to play good. It means I will be transmitting Chopin and transmitting Prokofiev. Beware, it's very powerful and you might be emotional. It seems a contradiction in terms for the organization which is dedicated to a very down-to-earth agenda, like drilling the wells in Africa or Latin America, or helping uh, uh, the, the school children to get access to water and sanitation. And then suddenly, why? Why is that? I can tell you, my deep conviction is that all the problems that we are having today, starting from climate change to economic downturn and financial crisis, are related to, let me say, cultural de-evolution that happens today. And we talked many times with Andre before that, when I was, you know, discussing about it. And when I saw what he sent us, the repertoire Chopin and Prokofiev, I understood immediately, because it was based also on these discussions. First of all, no one good intention will never 
come true without without love and being united. And we need a force which giving endless love, which give, which makes us instantly better, and which unite us as a one. And this is only music. And after that, we can do everything. Because we are becoming good and loving. Twenty years is a term for birthday when usually they say something about their achievements. And we have the achievements. Uh, we have the achievements, but our decision was to celebrate our birthday, not boasting the achievements we have, but trying to, uh, to map the way ahead. We consider ourselves now an adult organization, adult institution after, I mean, you know, 20, 20 years with your institution, uh, organization, and uh, we want to show that there is a way ahead. So our celebration is dedicated to the future rather than to the past. But if you ask me what is the main achievement of Green Cross, uh, and in order not to go into many details and many projects that we're implementing, I will say it's one. We succeeded during these 20 years to show to the world community that there is a seamless web between humanitarian problems and the environment. And they should be treated, they should be dealt with simultaneously. You cannot just say, okay, we have a catastrophe, now we will take care only of the people living in the zone and uh, the environment can wait till better times. It never helps because people live in a certain place, in a certain environment, and if you don't deal with that, it will hit back twice or many times the, than uh, the power of the actual catastrophe. That's why I think that we have achieved and um, I would say this resembles to a certain extent what has happened to the Red Cross because the Red Cross was created to show to the people that the soldier which was hit or wounded during the battle should be helped, assisted, regardless whether he belongs to your own troops or to, you, to the enemy troops. That was the uh, victory of humanism. I think that we are at least initially in a very generic form, form. We have shown the same for nature, for environment. Whatever happens to us humans, we have to take care of the environment, not to make the situation even worse. Well, on the second, take like an estafet, really. It would not be one concept dedicated to particular celebration of one bureaucratic organization. No. We're not bureaucratic. <laughs> I am saying in commas. It would be just the beginning of my, the rest of my life journey, promoting with my music these ideas all over the world. In a great proportion, because my every concert would be now, from the 2nd of September, connected with this, all over the world, which means all continents will learn and see our connection at least 60, 70 times a year just from me. So it's a really a great beginning.
and I'm only one person, and they would have much more. So this is only team. Merci, merci.